In search for a quick weekend getaway, Pierre Font has definitely something to offer, ranging from history and culture to outdoor activities. This small town, located in the Oise department, is located about 80 kilometers from Paris. It is best known for its 12th century castle, Chateau de Pierre Font, which was restored in the 19th century by the architect Eugène Violet le Duc. The castle is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the region and has been used as a filming location for numerous movies and TV shows. Built on a rocky spur above the Nonette River, Chateau Pierrefonds offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Once you have crossed the drawbridge, discover a courtyard of honor of great architecture wealth. The chapel is located in the heart of the Judas Maccabeus Tower. What makes it special? It is probably the only known religious building in France to have a tribune above the choir. The statue of Saint Michael inside the chapel of Pierrefonds Castle is a masterpiece of medieval art. It is made of polychrome wood and dates back to the 13th century. Behind Louis d'Orléans, a majestic animal awaits you. Executed in 1882-1883 after the model of the sculpture Auguste Nicolas Quint, the winged lion of Pierrefonds is worked in hammered copper realized by the workshop Mondouifis. Established by the French architect Eugène Violet le Duc to create the statues and ornaments for the restoration of the Chateau de Pierrefonds in the 19th century, the Mondui workshop is located in a former gunpowder storehouse on the castle grounds. The workshop was staffed by a team of sculptors, craftsmen and apprentices who were skilled in the art of medieval sculpture and ornamentation. The workshop produced a variety of work including statues, reliefs, capitals and pinions. cross back to the chapel to check the huge multicolored rosas. In the 19th century, the emperor and empress received their loved ones and intimates here. The proof of furniture with the exception of a remarkable bench by Violet le Duc. The decoration is very bright and rich. The walls represent various emblems and coat of arms of sovereigns painted using the technique known as stencil painting. In this ensemble, the imperial eagle of Napoleon III and the porcupine of Louis XII coexist. The porcupine was the emblem of the Valois dynasty of Orléans, and their motto was He who rubs it gets prick. It's time to go down to the ball of the recumbents. In 1951, the castle of Versailles deposits in the monument an extraordinary collection of a hundred original casts representing kings and queens of France, as well as great princesses of the kingdom from the Middle Ages to the 18th century. These funerary statues were made in plaster at the request of King Louis-Philippe in 1833. The guards room is a large vaulted hall that was used as a reception and banquet hall. It is decorated with beautiful stained glass windows. In addition to the castle, Piafon has a charming old town with narrow streets, half-timbered houses and a 16th century church. The town is also located on the edge of the Forêt de Compiègne. We decided to end our day with the delight by the lake. See you next time!